Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, my name is Gabby and today, like I promised you, I have the second part of my massive birthday perfume haul um, I got in here 9 perfumes, we're gonna have some very affordable ones, we're gonna have some very expensive ones um, some body mist, some room perfumes, we have everything in here, okay? So, before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to leave the big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and let's jump in the first scent that we have in here is Insomnia from Fabiol Seferi. This one is pretty popular in the fragrance community just because this one people are saying that smells identical to Killian Black Phantom. So, Fabiol Seferi. This perfume is actually created by Martinez Perfumes and they were kind enough to send me this one, some perfumes from their private collection and also some room perfumes. This one, in my opinion, I will spray it on my skin, but I, I'll, I'll just spray it again. Um, this one is very similar. Like, it's very, very similar. I have it right down here. I'm going to have the opening here. The opening, I'm not the biggest fan, but I really like the dry down. Let's talk about the notes, okay? Let's talk firstly about the notes. So we have opening, caramel, rum, chocolate. Middle, we have coffee and ylang ylang, and in the dry down, we have the heat and vanilla, sandalwood, cedar, and patchouli. This is very similar, like, it's very, very similar, and it's a fraction of the price. I'm not sure if it was meant to be a dupe for Black Phantom from Killian, but if you don't want to spend the money, this is literally a fraction of the price. And it's very long lasting. I do like it. I do like it. What people are saying on Fragrantica is I, I don't own Killian Black Phantom. I smell that one, but I don't own that perfume. And I can't really remember if that one has a metallic note, but people on Fragrantica were saying that that one has a metallic note, that this one doesn't. This one definitely doesn't have any metallic things. It's you're definitely getting the rum. It's slightly spicy, boozy. You're getting the coffee, it's a good one. It's not necessarily the most appropriate for the summertime, but this, in the colder weather, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. So if you like Black Phantom from Killian, but you don't want to spend the money on that, check this one out. It's very good. I really like the presentation, and for the price, you're getting good stuff. So the first one that we have in here is Insomnia from Fabiol Seferi. The next one that we have is, like I said, from the private collection, and this one is Essenza. This one has notes. We have lemon, bergamot, orange in the opening, we have pear, grapes, and apple in the middle, and we have white mask, amber, and vanilla in the dry down. This, this is a very fruity, summery type of scent. It's a very pleasant one. You're definitely getting the lemon, you're definitely getting the pear in this one and the apple it's a nice one it's a nice it's a very nice one i can't say it's my favorite scent but it's a very nice one and again it's very affordable even though it's from their private collection it's very affordable so i'm gonna leave their website in the description box if you want to check them out but this one is just everyday no-brainer and um, daytime spring summer type of scent not too fruity not too floral not too citrusy it's just a perfect balance yeah, it's a very nice one. So, Essenza from Martinez Perfumes. And the last one that I have from them, and actually the one that I'm completely in love, I'm like totally in love, it's Bizarre Dreams. This one, this one is good stuff, okay? Like, if with the other two, maybe you're not going to be that impressed. This is good stuff. Like, this is very good. Notes. We have... Pink pepper, jasmine in the top, then we have in the middle chestnut, whipped cream and vanilla and then in the dry down we have cashmere wood and sandalwood. This one, let's spray it here. This one, you're definitely getting the chestnut, you're getting the whipped cream. It's peppery, it's definitely peppery. It really reminds me of uh, this is her from Zadig and Voltaire, it's not, just not as creamy as that and it's a, a little bit more peppery But I really like it Like this, when I spray this, I'm like, ooh, this is good This is good, like you definitely, if you like what I like 
you definitely need to check this one out. These are dreams from Martin's perfume perfumes. Oh, this is good. Like it's almost gourmand, but not necessarily gourmand, but it's that chestnut, it's everything. If you like chestnut in your perfumes, it's creamy, but in the same time it has that pepper, that pink pepper, and you can definitely smell it in this perfume. It's so good. It's so, so, so good. So this is my favorite. This one, um, I would purchase. Like This one, I would 100% I would purchase this one because it's so good. And like I said, they also sent me some rune spray. So we have some rune sprays in here and something that I actually really like. We have, um, how do you call this? Perfume diffu the diffuser. 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 Uh, this one is Cookie Dream. This one is Cookie Dream and this one literally smells like uh, fresh baked cookies. Like this, the entire room is gonna smell like this. It's it's good. Like it's good, 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 good. And it looks very like, I don't know, fancy on the table. It looks fancy. I like it. You know, I like fancy things. It's plain. It's very simplistic, but it's fancy in the same time. So yeah, very good prices. Check them out. Um, They have, I think they have also inspired perfumes and things like that. But I said, I want to try just their private collection, just what they made. And for now, I'm impressed. I have to tell you, I am impressed with Martinez perfumes. And like I said, I'm going to leave the website in the description box. Now, let's move on to a scent that everyone is talking about because it's a newest release and basically the entire YouTube loves this perfume. And guess what? I love it too. I'm talking about Sweet, Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25 from Keali. That's a very long name. Um, I, I got just a 10 ml bottle because I have all of my other Keali perfumes in a 10 ml, bo ml bottle and I just want to try this. It was a blind buy. Um, and yeah, I just like to have them in the same size. Probably in the future, I'm just gonna buy the 50 ml size because I really like the perfume. So, Kiali Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25 has notes. Opening, pink pepper, obviously. We have Saffron, Bergamot, and Royal Lily. Then we have, in the middle, Bulgarian Rose, May Rose, Vanilla Orchid, Vanilla Orchid, and, uh, and Magnolia, and then the dry down, we have Sandalwood, Musk, Amber, and Chewy. This one is absolutely stunning. This is so strong. This one is so powerful. I know people are saying that they're not really getting the pepper. I'm getting the pepper. And the rose, the rose in this is amazing. This reminds me, people are comparing this to, to what? Intense Cafe from Montal? Uh, no. To Alien? What? N no. This one for me smells similar to... Nina Ricci Rose Extas Absolute Something. This one, the one that it smells very similar to Oud Satin Mood from MFK. This one it's slightly more feminine than Oud Satin Mood. This one it's even more feminine. Between these two, I much prefer this one, I have to tell you. This was like, eh, I kinda like it, but this, this is a love. I'm surprised this one doesn't have Oud. And I'm not the only one. I mean, everyone smells. Some oud, a very sweet oud, nothing too um, strong, nothing too Middle Eastern. But I smell some oud in this. It's weird. The rose is good, it's like jammy and it's dark and sexy and oh, I really like this one. Like, I really like this one. If you don't want to buy the full bottle, get the 10 mil. Get the 10 mil, it's not um, super expensive, it comes with a sprayer, you, you don't have like dabbers or anything like that. Um, it's good. It's good. Good. Good stuff. This is beast mode. Like this is beast mode. If all of the other Kiali perfumes that I have and that I tried are not that strong, this one is the strongest one. Like this one, it's is strong. Okay. So sweet diamond pink pepper twenty five from Kiali. It's a very very good one. The next one that we have in here, it's actually a body mist. Uh, surprise, surprise, I usually don't do body mist, but I really like the body mist from Sol de Janeiro. And this one is the newest one. This one is Brazilian Crush Cheirosa 40. This has opening black, amber, plum, and cassis. Middle we have jasmine and orchid. And the dry down we have vanilla, musk, and woodsy notes. This one, let's put this one here. This, this one when it opens up, it's, it smells like plums, okay? And it's like... 
like that was my reaction I'm like okay because i have all of the other ones and i really like all of the other ones that's super good super good one especially for the summertime and their body mist so they don't have the best lasting power but they have like very good prices i think this one is like 18 pounds for 90 ml 90 or 100 ml and i really like it with this i wasn't impressed i have to say with this i was like eh, it's just okay but then then the dry down of this smells very similar to vanilla from Kiali. It smells like pure vanilla extract. And for the price, for the price is good, okay? Opening is very faint. It's like this plummy vanilla type of scent. It's not very strong, but in the dry down is getting stronger. And it's this sweet, like brown sugar vanilla. It's very, very, very good. So. I highly recommend this one. It's not my favorite from all of their body mists that they have, but it's still a very good one. So if you want maybe a dupe, it's not necessarily a 100% dupe, but if you want something very similar to Vanilla from Kiali, check this one out. Or if you want, I don't know, just something lighter because it's not as thick as Vanilla from Kiali, check this one out for the summertime. Uh, but yeah, I like it. I mean, for the price, I can't complain. So. Brazilian Crush Che Rosa 40 from Sol de Janeiro. Okay, it's time for the best of the best. Probably the best gourmand that I've discovered so far. Uh, probably a gourmand scent that I love even more than Lira from Zerjov. And probably a gourmand scent that nobody talks about and you need to, to know about this scent because yes, it's niche, but it's not that expensive. It's not like crazy expensive and it's just divine. I'm talking about Sulmona from Coquilete. This I have Cookie Crunch from them. And now I got this one, I got the sample, and I was just like, oh my god, this is just everything. I got this one from Scent City, I think. Yeah, from Scent City. So I'm gonna leave their website also in the description box. This is not sponsored, this is not they didn't send it to me anything. I bought from them with my own money but they have samples of every single niche perfume that they have on their website they have niche perfumes that you can't really find anywhere else so if you're looking if you are from uk and you're looking for perfumes niche perfumes that you can't find in other places check scent city because they probably have it and they have samples of them and with every purchase you actually you're getting two free samples you just like write down what samples you want and they're gonna send to you and uh, i really like them very fast delivery, uh, free shipping, also for samples, you can get just one sample and it's free shipping. I really like them. So, the perfume, Sulmona. This one has nose, be ready, opening, almond, sugar, Madagascar vanilla, middle, bitter almond, orange blossom, and guess what? Madagascar vanilla, and then right down, orange blossom, and again, Madagascar vanilla. Like, how good? that sounds this one doesn't have a box like this is the packaging it's nice i don't mind it um i prefer this than having a very ugly packaging we have one with very ugly, ugly packaging and the price is just pff, it's very high okay this is not that expensive like this is very long lasting and it has like a very good sillage but it's not that expensive i think it's around 100 pounds maybe a little bit more for 100 million i really like them like, i really like them this I wore this one twice and I have to tell you it's a compliment. Oh, I, can, I can smell it from here. It's a compliment getter. This, this is how I wanted my Almond Harmony from the House of Oud to smell. This smells like the most, it does smell like almond cookies. It smells like an almond cake with, ma with marzipan with, it's just so sweet. Like if you like almonds, this is so sweet. This is heaven. Like this is heaven. Some people, I saw some people saying that this one is a bit artificial. I can see why. If you're not used to super sweet gourmand in your face perfumes, but this is so good. Like I got so many compliments. Actually, I got one that said it wasn't a compliment. Uh, someone said it's too sweet. This is not too sweet. Okay. If you can't handle sweet perfumes, okay, fine. But this is just gorgeous like this is gorgeous i don't understand why nobody is talking about this one this is the best 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 almond scent ever period that's it is this one you like almonds you like very sweet perfumes check this one out sulmona from coquilete amazing 
I want in general is giving me personally this cherry vibe as well and bees when I first met this one I thought it has also cherry I thought it's like a almond cherry cake with some marzipan it doesn't have any cherry but the almond in this gives like a cherry touch I would say if that makes any sense I love it I love it I love it and the color of the juice I can't I, I don't know if you can, can see it it's like this cherry red it's, it's stunning it's stunning I love it and yeah Sulmona from Coquilete the next perfume that we have in here a very expensive one that I got for a steal and I knew it wasn't a blind buy I knew exactly how this one smells because my dear friend Pika I'm probably gonna mention her on every single video because she made me buy so many fragrances mentioned and she sent me a sample and I fell in love with the sample and then when I saw the price of the fragrance I was like no no but I got this one from Latino for a very good price it was I think it was unboxed or something like that it, it was like ridiculous cheap it was like 70% of it was so cheap but I have to tell you the packaging if I would pay the full retail price for this packaging like I would be mad my box already like is falling apart but this this is the presentation like, is that it like this full price, the 15 mil, this is the 15 mil by the way, uh, and this one is bond number 9, New York Knight. Uh, this is like 260, something like that, full price. I didn't pay that. No, I, I didn't pay that. But like, this looks like, I don't know, Poland, I don't know, candies, box for candies, for chocolates. It's, what in the world is this? Like, no, no, we're not doing that. I can't say I'm a fan of the bottle either. You're quite, you're quite ugly. It's ugly. But the scent is good. The scent is good. This one has Bon number 9, New York Nights. Opening, gardenia, jasmine, and carnation. Middle, we have patchouli, flowers. Very informative flowers. Uh, sea notes and sandalwood. And the dry down, we have caramel and coffee. This, I don't understand how this thing doesn't have... I don't have like, hands... Uh, does I have Ilang Ilang because this one it's so good. if you like Ilang in Gold from Amy Calif 100% you're gonna love this one this is the, is the demand version of Ilang in Gold I don't understand how this one doesn't have Ilang because for me it smells exactly like you take Ilang in Gold Ilang Ilang also has like a banana vibe you add more banana and you put some caramel and vanilla and you make it sweet, 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 gourmand, very gourmand and thick. This is what I'm getting. Like the notes in here, uh, gardenia, sea notes, uh, no, caramel, yeah, that's it. Jasmine, no, this is, this is Elangin Gold, 10 times sweeter, very gourmand, more banana, that's it. I love it. I love it. It has great lassi bar, great siage dish in the summer nights. <sighs> Amazing. Again, I hate the bottle. I hate the packaging. But the scent is so good. And I found it for a steal. So I couldn't say no. So yeah. Um, bar number nine. What's the name? New York Nights. Two more perfumes. Two more perfumes. From the series You Two Made Me Buy. We have from... Zarco perfume purple molecule. This one is a tester bottle. So Amy talked about this. She hold this one and she's gonna be interested. Uh, this company is from Denmark, so very hard to find. And basically, I couldn't find any bottle for like a decent price. And then someone on a Facebook group was actually selling this, but this one is a tester bottle, so it says tester here. And obviously it says tester on the bottle and it absolutely drives me crazy. That's the bottle, very simplistic. Um, the regular one is not going to say tester in here. It's not a... Like, I hate this. I just hate this. But I, I pay like so little, fraction of the price because someone was selling it. And I don't really mind. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It says tester. It's, it's annoying. But anyway, the scent. She made me curious. Um, I really wanted an exotic, fruity type of scent for the summertime. Uh, I already have a billion but I just wanted another one. So this one has just three notes. We have Pitahaya, Vanilla and Amber. 
basically when I saw pita high I was like what in the world is that and then I realized is the dragon fruit and if you don't know where should I spray this let me spray. I'm gonna spray my my hands yeah if you don't know Fanta has a flavor of dragon fruit it's dragon fruit Fanta it's mango and dragon fruit basically this one smells exactly like that Fanta it smells like Fanta mango and dragon fruit I do like it. It's different. It smells like an exotic, yeah, an exo e exotic fruit. I do like it. Is that something groundbreaking? I'll be pretty mad to pay like for how much this one was sold in here in the UK. I think it's just overpriced in here because it's very hard to find. Like I said, it's a company from Denmark. But for what I paid, it's also citrusy in a way, but fruity. Yeah, it has like a citrus kick. I like it. I don't know how to explain better than that. It smells like um, dragon fruit Fanta. That's the best way to describe this. I like it. I like it. Is that a love? But I really, really like it. So yeah, this summertime, perfect. Zarba perfume, purple molecule. And the last one that we have in here, and I'm going to move very quickly because I'm basically melting. We have 23 degrees here in Manchester and basically everyone is just melting. It's so hot outside. I know for... Most people, it's not going to be that hot, but in here, trust me, it's very hot. Uh, 23 degrees feel like, I don't know, 35. Last one that we have is from Shine Blue, and this one is Lilacs and Gooseberries. I have no idea how gooseberries smell, but I really like this perfume. That's a presentation. That's a 50ml bottle. I mean, for £50, because these are £50, they made a way better, like, a way better presentation than bond number 9. That is selling the perfumes for 260 like what how anyway i like the presentation i really like them uh this one has just three notes opening we have lilacs obviously middle we have gooseberries obviously and right down we have white amber i have no idea how white amber smells like but i do really like this perfume this okay so in the opening it's very faint okay it smells like lilacs but usually i don't i don't really like lilacs where i used to live we had like lilacs in the garden i just hated the smell but i do like in this one and then suddenly the berries in this are getting so sweet and so yummy that it gives me a little bit of amethyst from lalique but without the greenness without Everything that people basically don't like. But then it's getting very sweet. The berries are getting very sweet. And then it's like flat again. But I don't mind that. I really don't mind that. Yeah, now it's super sweet. And then when it dries down, it just calms down. It's not as sweet anymore. It's most basically like berries. Like berries. But very good ones. And very good quality berries. That's my smell like... I don't know, designer scent or like a celebrity scent. Obviously, they're niche, but they're affordable niche. They smell very natural, I would say. All of the perfumes were very natural. I do like it. I do like it. It's very refreshing. If you want a refreshing berry scent, check this one out. I think it's limited edition, though, so I'm not sure if you can find it. Um, if it's still available. It's the newest one. I think it's sold out already. But if you can find a bottle, if they bring this one back, check it out because it's good. It's very good. It's a refreshing, very natural, very type of scent. So, lilacs and gooseberries from Shine Blue is our last scent. And that was it for today, guys. That was it. Please let me know in the comments down below if you ever tried any of these perfumes, if you like them, if you don't, and all of that. And yeah, that was it for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and like always, I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.